Jesus reminds the Pharisees and the leaders of the people again this week that God's reputation is wrapped up in this world, not some otherworldly one. And so the question is, who holds the power? Jesus tells us that the power of God is given to us, that we are the stewards, that we are the managers of God's love, and that we hold that in trust. So the question is, do we serve ourselves or do we serve others? The struggle to make good use of our resources and what are those resources? The love of God, the compassion of God, the mercy of God, and the forgiveness of God. How do we manage God's trust here on earth with those resources that are given to us and that we have the power to use or to hold back? As stewards of God's grace, that's grace given to us. We don't earn God's grace. God's grace isn't a reward. God abundantly gives us that grace and that life and that love and that freedom. But God's grace is a responsibility. God's reputation we need to uphold in this world. Because God cares how we share God's wealth. It's God's wealth, not ours. It's God's love. It's God's forgiveness. It's God's compassion. It's God's mercy. And we are the stewards of that. God entrusts each and every one of us with that. The difficulty is that many times the religious leaders and the teachers of faith and those who profess Christianity, like last week's gospel, have a real difficulty sharing God's wealth, that grace and that mercy and that love and forgiveness. Like last week, what did they say? He eats with sinners. He gives his grace away, his love away, his mercy away, his compassion away. There's something wrong. And so oftentimes religious practice becomes a cover-up. A cover-up for the internal character that is totally self-absorbed. Religion with a mask. So Jesus says, God shows up in places that we will never expect. It may happen this week. One writer recently questioned how Jesus has survived all the distortions throughout all the centuries that have turned God's grace into a reward. So Jesus in the gospel says today, cutting a deal for someone who needs a break can be good. Instead of the rigidity of the Pharisees and the leaders of the people, Cutting a deal for some who need a break can be good. Mercy for those needing to experience forgiveness in their lives, that can be good. If we don't recognize that God is real, maybe it's because we don't recognize God is on the inside of us, not on the outside. So we're called to extend God's world, God's love, we're called to restore people's lives, not destroy them. God gives us people to love and things to use. So as stewards and managers of God's love and mercy, are we shrewd enough to extend God's forgiveness this week? Are we shrewd enough to work in restoring the dignity and care for all God's people? Can we really say at the beginning of next week when we come back here together again, I'm really tired because all week I've been doing God's work.